All right, this is a video to help um, with being able to find the area under the normal standard normal distribution curve using table E. Uh, this first portion of the video will focus on when you have a, a negative z-score. So here's the image. A um, couple things to keep in mind is that there are two pages to your table E, so that's kind of something you want to pay attention to. There is, um, and this could be in your textbook, it could be something that was an attachment or like an insert in your textbook, but there's a positive z-score. You can see that that all the z values are positive here and then there's also a negative version so you want to make sure that once you have your z-score you're using the correct side of the distribution table of table E All right, so here we go. So we have a z-score. This is uh, straight out of the textbook. Um, just thought I'd use an example. It's not necessarily one of your assigned problems, but it is a problem that you know you could use or complete. And so in this case here, we have a z-score of negative 0.75. So we move over negative 0.75 someplace in this area. This isn't necessarily the correct image. This is just saying that we have a z-score that's in the negative portion of the distribution curve. So we go to our table E. And what we're going to do is we're going to look for two parts. We're going to take the point, negative 0.75 and we're going to break it down. We're going to look for 0.7 and then we're also going to look for 0.05 across the top. So let me get a little line tool here. And so what we're going to do is, is we'll say, okay, 0.7, so negative 0.7. And we will draw a line, take a ruler, use your finger, something like that. And then we'll move across the top to be able to get the second portion of the um, of the actual z-score. And so we got 0 0.00, 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.05. So if you think back to when we started this a moment ago, we said that we're going to take our 0.75 and we're going to break it down. So what will happen when we put the two parts together, we'll get our z-score of 0.75 or negative, of course, because these are negative scores on the negative portion of the um, table E. And so that means that we come across negative 0.7, we come down from the 0 0.05, and we find our area under the curve to the left of that z-score. The area under the curve to the left of that z-score is 0.2266 which is the same thing as 22.66%. So that is the, the probability, that's the area, um, that's the, the likelihood that you, know, you would be to the left of that particular z-score. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at a positive z-score real quick and see how that looks. So same idea, we have a positive z-score, it's 1.31.